What's up guys, Gaming Colossal here doing a guest commentary on Curtis Tubit's uh, YouTube channel. He opened the offer to anyone that wanted to send in some uh, content to put on his site while he's recovering. I very much appreciate the offer and I do hope that he's feeling better, but it's pretty cool. It's my second day on Yaush and I'm already being offered a way to get a little more uh, publicity, I guess you could call it, with the uh, YouTube community and the Yash community. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, we're going to do a pretty short commentary for what I usually do on my channel because Gears and Battlefield games tend to stra uh, take a lot longer than a Halo game generally, not, you know, except the big team battle ones. But um, doing Slayer on Asylum and I have two, two of the uh, people on my team of the other three are actually in my party, which you can see in the status screen, which plays a big part of it for how well we do. And I just think uh, communication is very much a key in any online gaming, or you know, if you're doing a LAN, of course, too, or you know, whatever it is. But talking to your team is very important. And we, uh, some of us in the party, I think it was a couple nights ago, we're actually talking about how it used to be such a huge handicap when some people on your team were on a party and you couldn't speak to them, especially in the old Xbox days where everyone had a mic and everyone was actively talking. Especially in Halo, there's always people talking on your team. And it was kind of, um, you know, it was a handicap. You couldn't communicate, you couldn't tell where someone was, you couldn't let them know what weapon they have, wh whatever it was. Um, all that adds to the ability to play with your team and actually play as a team. And it sucks that, you know, now, Halo, I don't care if it's Halo Reach, Gears, Battlefield 3, um, even Modern Warfare 3, the couple times I've loaded it in once in a while, you don't see many people talking anymore. You don't see people even having a mic plugged in, because Halo 2 will show you if they have a mic in. I mean, it's just, it blows my mind how much it's changed, because I think that was one of the huge pulls, at least for me, in Xbox, uh, old Xbox days that I could hop online and, you know, either talk to the 15 other people we're doing a custom game with, or if we're playing matchmaking and we run into some people, you know, the proximity chat in old Halo 2 where you could kind of talk the trash back to your uh, enemy team when they were trying to be douches and teabag you. Whatever it was, like, all of that was an awesome aspect of the game. So, I feel like, especially new people that the online gaming are kind of being robbed of the chance to get to do that stuff and I just miss it so I love when I get to have a party of a couple people to chat with while I'm playing because it's just it's not it's not the same experience at all it's not the same uh, not the same deal but um yeah we got to communicate we I think we all have different armor abilities I'm using jetpack which I very very rarely do it's something I overlooked for a long time ever since I had this game. I don't even know how old it is. I think it's two years now. Three? Uh, probably two. But um, it's I every time I've ever seen anyone use it, I've never seen anyone use it skillfully. Not to say that I'm using it that skillfully right now, but because I'm used, to, I'm new to it. But um, everyone I ever saw, just like you're holding down sprint to run across the map, I guess they thought it was equally as uh, strategic to fly all the way upwards while they have no shield and then I can just pick them off with a DMR. didn't really make sense to me. I, I don't get the thought process of it. So, of course there's times like right now where this guy I think had the shotgun or whatever he had out. You know, then it plays a part in keeping some distance from you, but a lot of the time that I've ever seen anyone use it, it just didn't make sense. So, until I got into a game where this guy absolutely annihilated me while using one, then it opened my eyes to think, eh, maybe you can't actually use it in a cool way. Um, I usually use armor lock, uh, probably the most of all the other ones, and I think it's a very cool idea that they have in the updated um, playlists where armor lock kind of has a health, or amount of health, or whatever it is, that the more damage it absorbs, the less time it actually is up. And I think that's a very cool idea because while I love it to reject a grenade or two or, you know, to save you for that split moment, you shouldn't be just sitting in it for what, however many, it feels like 10 seconds sometimes that people can sit in it and um, just hide there almost in plain sight until their team runs around the corner. Of course, if their team doesn't run around the corner, you just shoot them in the face once because everyone always uses armor lock um, when they have no shield, which is pretty stupid. 
appreciate that betrayal, by the way, Akavarian. Um, so yeah, I think it's a cool idea. It's a good step in the right direction for uh, them to have updated that into it. And Halo 4, just it sounds pretty cool that they uh, kind of removed the pickup, uh, pick or they added pickups and removed the actual automatic um, abilities like they had in Reach, where you could choose from them. I do personally like the abilities being available. I like being able to customize my playstyle on the fly, just like I do in um, in Gears 3 when you could switch your weapons at the spawn. In uh, Battlefield, you can switch your kits down to exactly what's on them. I don't know if you can do it in uh, Call of Duty. I haven't played enough, but I've always enjoyed the option of that. I always think it's very cool that I don't know. It, it can ruin a game if um, you know if my best idea is uh, Gears 3 where a whole team has sawed-offs, uh, sawed-off shotguns, and you can't do much against them because they just run right up to you. All you have is a Nasher and whatever other gun, so you weren't really prepared for it. Great thing about it is you can switch to a Retro Lancer, for example, or whatever it is, or you know, switch to a ranged gun that you're most comfortable with, and you can start playing more of a ranged game, and uh, you know, flip the, flip the table on them. And I think that's important. I think it, it doesn't make people want to rage quit, which everyone loves doing lately. Um, it makes people want to stick with it more, because if you're actually dedicated to trying to do better, you have the option to try out a couple different things and see what uh, works better for you. But um, anyway, whatever they do with Halo 4, I think it looks, it looks like it's going the right way. And I'm very excited for it. Um, it's always just been one of my favorite series. I've read even some of the books and stuff, and it's just it's a very cool, uh, very cool universe, the whole idea of it. But um, that ends this game, and I uh, just wanted to once again thanks Curtis Tubit for allowing me to post on his channel. Thanks for checking out the video, guys. I really appreciate it, and I'll. Uh,